Good morning, everybody. Happy Saturday. I have a lot to do today, so I figured I would take you with me through my morning and out on some errands. Right now, I need to iron my clothes, put the dishes away, get ready, and then hit the road. I need to pick up my balcony a little bit. Uh, my plants aren't doing too well. I don't know if it was the summer heat or what, but I pretty much lost just about everything that's out there. So what I'm going to do is I want to see if I can find some plants that might be on discount, kind of end of the season sort of thing that I might be able to salvage. And then I know that there are mums out there already. So I might pick up um, some of those we'll see. So I've had one cup of coffee this morning and it wasn't the greatest cup of coffee because I am out of half and half, which I use for my coffee. So that's one of the things that we need to do while we are out. So just enjoy me um, ironing and putting away the dishes and we will get to um, whatever it is that we have to do. Okay, so I'm dressed. Now, you see me with no makeup on, I'm going to put a little bit of makeup on my face. And first, I'm going to put some of the Equate Oil of Olay Hydrating or Ultra Hydrating Beauty Lotion 
on my face real quick. I've done one, what's the matter with this? I've done one Get Ready With Me videos and oh, I didn't like it too much, but whatever. Okay, I, a little too much out, but anyways. I said a little too much so we'll put some on my neck and my arms neck and the arms all right I'm not gonna go too crazy with the makeup because I am just going to Walmart or wherever it is that I want to look for the moms so that. Now, I'm just going to put a little makeup on. You can see I usually turn and go right in this mirror. The lighting isn't the greatest here. I have two lights. I don't know if you can see them. You bring it up a little bit. See those lights there? Yeah. But for whatever reason, I like to turn the mirror like this. So you can just watch me from that angle, I guess. More eyeshadow on. I was hoping, really, really hoping the sun would come out today. They were saying it was going to. I want to get a little more beach time in, but I don't know. Or even time at the pool. Just brushing my eyebrows. A little more time at the pool. I, I don't know if that's going to happen. So... So this is just the Wet n Wild from the Dollar Tree. And uh, I'll put a little of that on my cheeks. I'm not a makeup professional, never claim to be one, never want to be one. I just want, just want to be someone that just adds a little color to her face. just going to this is just Dollar Tree LA colors and for a little uh, pink stuff up top it's almost gone I need to get some more I need to get some more really not a lot of much going on there because it's almost gone some here. Here. Hello. And so I went to the library. I finally finished the two books that I got for the month of August. I think I got them in July actually and um, I finished them. So the other day I went and um, blend this in a little bit. I went and got some another book. Did I get two? Did I get two books? I got two books. So I started one. They're short chapters. I just lost the eye pencil that I was going to use. Anyways, here we go. Did you see what I did with it? Is this it? No, this isn't it. Well, anyways, I was talking about, here it is, I think. I was talking about um, the books. Got a couple of books. All right, now I'm going to concentrate and put some of this on. This is just the NYX blue. This is the blue stuff you see in my eyes all the time. Yeah. So I got the two books, started one, read two chapters, and two very short chapters, and yeah. I can't really read at the beach. I can't read anywhere but at home. 
because I get distracted by other things that are going on out there. Like I can't read at the beach because I'm listening to whatever or I'm mesmerized by the waves or people's kids are just too loud around me or something. I don't know. Is that like I said I'm not going too crazy on anything just want to look a little presentable I'm almost done if, if this is boring to you on the video I'm sorry but I'm almost out of this this is the Maybelline last lash I always have a problem with that lash sensational I'm almost out of it I think I have one in backup in my room yeah I do pretty sure anyways here we go this And I know I just did a big clump on my eyelid. I know I did. I have to wash that off. Does anybody else make these faces like the when you're putting mascara on? Or am I the only one? tops and now we'll just put some in the bottom. Still gonna do something with this hair too. Alright, that was just a quick makeup job. I spend a lot more time on my eye makeup when I'm getting ready for work. mistakes here like this yeah. all right now for some little lipstick my cheeks when I put blush on it's hard for me because I don't have a very full face and I always look sunken so yeah all right this is just the LA colors pink lipstick from the Dollar Tree because that's how I roll. All right. Now I'm going to put a little of the under eye stuff that I use, um, that I swear by. It's the Sudden Change Firming Serum, which um, I have to get some more of. So I just put a little dab on. This is my beauty secret. It's the only thing um, I do like I've told you before, I really don't care about the droop under my, around my mouth, but I do care about the puffiness that I get under my eyes. I really do care about that, and um, that's the one thing that I am self-conscious about is the puffiness under my eyes. I don't know if it's hereditary, but sometimes it's extreme, and um, I don't know. So that's the one beauty secret that I have. And this stuff, I will tell you, practice makes perfect. You might see other reviews on this on YouTube, other videos about it. Um, sometimes it's really stiff. Um, I'll wet it a little bit to rub it in. Other times it looks, it takes on a flaky effect and it looks like toothpaste under your eyes. Um, like I said, practice makes perfect. But anyways, let's do something with this hair. Um, I'm not gonna wash it or anything washed it yesterday before work so I'm just going to wet it a little bit and yeah that's all I'm gonna do there's enough product in it like uh, mousse and hairspray and stuff so I'm just gonna do that and take a blow dryer to it real quick hold on This brush, 
You know, I got a vanity, as you saw, I got this new vanity my landlord put in, and it's still a not, not a lot of counter space, but I'm thankful for the storage um, in the back, I mean, in the bottom. So I'm gonna stop talking and do my hair. something I know that in just about all my other vi all my videos my hair looks a different color um, in the videos in each video like in the kitchen my hair looks dark when I'm in front of my slider it looks really light when I'm in this light you can see all like it looks like it's been highlighted but that's a lot of gray coming in and I don't plan on doing anything about it I've had people ask me who highlights your hair and I say I've never had my hair highlighted it's just mother nature and um, you know I don't spend any money on getting my hair highlighted because it's done naturally so yeah um, it's usually like it, towards the winter it gets really gray but I think these lighter streaks are from the Sun so yeah whatever I'll take it it's costing me no money but if my hair goes totally gray that's fine that's what's for me so anyways i'm going to be quiet brush my hair out spray it and we'll get on the road after i put on some shoes and earrings all right so there's that that was quick huh a little spray and voila. All right, I'm going to get my shoes on, my earrings. I'll meet you in the car. All right, so I'm dressed, but let's see what's going on with the birds before we leave. There's a cardinal. See him? There's a cardinal in the dish. If I walk closer, he'll get scared away. But yeah, this is what's going on. We'll be quiet for a minute. 
really don't care how long this video is. This is what I was doing for a video this weekend. Is a day in my life. There we go. Let me get a little closer. There he is. I don't want to scare him away. I got the slider closed. And there's another little bird. Up. Well, he was there. Oh, there he is. Let's watch them for a little bit. All right, the cardinal flew away. And so did he. All right, let's go to the car. All right, we're in the car. But before I take off, I had to move this little um, thing I had hanging. And it's like broken in a bunch of pieces. I just need to get rid of it. I got to tell you a story before we take off real quick um, about my car and my shoe. Um, when I was on vacation, I came, I got in my car, and it smelled so bad in my car and I knew exactly what it was it was the smell of a dead mouse I've smelled dead mice before at uh, my my home that I used to have we used to get them in the basement and they used to die and just the smell of death disgusting I know um uh, it was terrible so I knew right away that there was a dead mouse or dead something in my car and I ripped my car apart and in the back took everything out couldn't find it and I came to the conclusion that it had to been in my dashboard somewhere and in the past I know that I've had mice in my car because um, I've had stuff in the glove compartment like um, you know my registration or envelopes torn shredded and you could tell a mouse was eating them so nothing's been in my glove compartment but um, what I ended up doing was I put some mothballs and air fresheners in the car until the scent of this little animal that came to its demise um, was gone. And then yesterday I dropped my car off at the mechanic and had the cabin um, air filter changed. And they said that yes, there was some bad things going on in my cabin air filter. So it smells a little better in here now. Um, it's, it's, it smells like mothballs. I still got the mothballs in there. So good news, not only do I have a new cabin air filter in here, I do not have any dead mice anymore. So um, yeah, so that's my little story. I think we're gonna hit the road and um, I'll pick you up at, where do we need to go? I have no cream for my coffee. No cream for my coffee. And then I want to um, look around for some plants, like I said, whether they're mom's or just something that is on clearance. There's a few different places I can go. I can go to Walmart. I can go to the garden shop down the street, which is probably expensive, or um, Home Depot or wherever. Um, my neighbor is in her car right beside me. I'm not going to look over at her. She's talking on her phone. She's probably wondering who I'm talking to. But yeah, anyways, so let's hit the road. Don't you think I can make this light? I made it, made it. I am just going to go into this Cumberland Farms right here to get my creamer. I also need gas, but I, do I wanna get gas right now and the creamer? Might as well, I'm right here, so we are going to pull up to the pump and I will go in and pay for the gas and the creamer. I'll be right out. All right, so I got the gas and I got some half and half. This is the Gorelick Farms. I um, usually get the Cumberland brand, you know, because I'm all about generic, but that's what they had. So I put 20 in my gas tank and it only brought me to a little over half a tank. I had almost, um, I was almost on E, so that's why I said, let me get the gas. And that's kind of disappointing that $20 only gave me a half a tank, but what are you gonna do? All right, let's hit the road. Gas is 343. Um, it wasn't 343 a couple days ago, but it is the weekend, so I'm finding that gas goes up, <coughs> excuse me, on the weekend, right? Eh, what are you going to do? 
I'm waiting to pull out and get on the highway. I think we are going to go to Walmart. So just be patient with me while I try to pull out. Here I go. a little close. I was definitely close to that car, but I didn't hit it. So now we'll get on the highway and we will go to Walmart.
Walmart Plaza. I think um, it's actually called Colony Place. I think you've been here with me before. We have car dealerships, Dick Sporting Goods, TJ Maxx, Aldi, um, Burlington, Lazy Boy, Petco, Old Navy, uh, Tom for Italia, Best Buy. I was reading the sign. That wasn't off the top of my head. Um, yeah. A lot of restaurants. Quite a few restaurants up here. A Moe's. Olive Garden. This is the Olive Garden up here that I take myself to um, when I date myself. Uh, and then there's like um, a Bertucci's, Red Robin. There was a Friday's. I believe it closed and there's something else there now. There's always something closing and then um, something else going in its place. So, of course, being a Saturday, it's busy here at Walmart. I only want to go to the home and garden section. So, I'm hoping maybe the doors are open over there. They've had the doors to their home and garden section um, closed. So, you can't, like, access it. Uh, all right, there's lawn and garden. I don't know about the doors, but anyways, I'm going to pull into this spot, and we'll go in, and I'm not, I'm probably not going to walk through the store with you, because they will copyright my video because of um, music. So, I'll take my driving glasses off. They're actually driving and distance glasses, and I'm supposed to wear them all the time, pretty much. But I just don't like glasses on my face. Even though people tell me they look nice and all that good stuff, I just don't like glasses on my face. I don't like the frames. It's not that they're heavy or anything. I just don't like them. But I do like seeing. So, and I'm not a candidate for contacts because I have astigmatism. Anyways, we're supposed to be in the store. So, let's go outside to see the plants. Okay, we are in Walmart, but we're kind of like out in the... Um, garden center I did stop at the bird food section and I got um, another thing of suet this is the apple treat um, flavor I haven't bought it yet and um, another of the um, these little ring things I hung up another feeder so this is the extreme variety and um, there's the apple treat so this is what's going on out here um, not too much. It's like the end of the year uh, summer stuff. So let's go out into the um, garden center and see what they have for plants. Oh, they get a lot of stuff for the fall. A lot. Alright, so here's some mini mums. They're $1.44. And they're already like bloomed. Really blooming. These are $14.97. What is this? It's a dahlia. Dahlia. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Look at all the mums. All these mums. It's a little planter. Annual window box, $14.97. That's kind of that looks like it will um it will do okay on my balcony because it's got like the petunias it's got a little cabbage in it and those maybe one of those i don't know i think like i said because of the extreme heat um things didn't do well and I took care of them and everything. And yeah, so there's some sunflowers over here. My sunflowers, I think they lived as long as they were gonna live. They did get sun, but um, yeah, they uh, served their purpose and lived their life. Now here's some plants, 584. All right, so this is what I'm talking about. Here's some hanging plants discounted on clearance. I'm wondering if I could help them along. What are those, gardenias or whatever? Is that what that is? Oh, geranium. 
Yeah, I never have been a fan of geraniums. So let me see what I can find. All right, these are on clearance, five dollars. And what are they called? Coreopsis. It's a perennial, which means it would come back. I have to bring it in, right? I bet you, just for the end of the season, this might be okay. If I just buy something like this and just take care of it, deadhead them, just something to have out there for the rest of the season. You know what I mean? And here's some more over here. Let's see. These also. These are pretty, and they don't look bad. I could really, I think I could pick these up a little bit. That one's little. This one doesn't look bad, does it? Hold on. I think I got my camera close up. Oh, there's some hollering people out there. All right, let me look at these. Okay, so what I have decided on is this potted plant. It's a lantana, and it's $9.97. I was going to get the other uh, one that had, um, like, the petunias and the stuff. They kind of looked like those, but it was $14.97, and I, it just looked like, I don't know, it, I, 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 something about it, it, I don't know. I didn't, as pretty as it was, didn't want it after all. And, you know, this is going to bring a touch of fall into my balcony. And there's a bumblebee here. Anyways, and then I'm getting um, a mum for $5.88. And then I'm getting two small mums. They are $1.44 each. You know what? Maybe for $1.44 I should get another one. And that will be on my little um, shelf that's out there. So, I don't know. $1.44. Let me go get another one of those mums. So here are some mums and they're like a pinkish purple. Let me see if I can get one that doesn't have a whole lot of blooms out yet. Let's see. Oh yeah, down here. Down here. This one looks good. Yeah. Alright. So we'll get that. Now these are the things that I was talking about that I was going to get, but they would look pretty, but I mean, these are only just this small amount of that, and I think those are going to die out soon, because I had some of that at my house. And this is just really flimsily caught in there, or put in there, and I don't know. I just don't want to spend $14.97 on that, and yeah. So let's go in and see what they have on the clearance house plants. Well, I don't think these are clearance. They don't say clearance, but um, yeah, they're just house plants, which I think we can all agree that I don't need any of those. I don't need any more house plants. I don't. But that's what's going on here. And I've been stepping in this puddle. These are the shoes I decided to put on today. So yeah, that's that. So thank you for coming along with me to Walmart today. Thank you for watching me get ready and taking a ride with me out here. I am going to end this video now. I'm going to go home and um, probably put this stuff out on my balcony. And I will um, show you what I came up with soon. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Goodbye.